<laughs> what is up Moro Warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another follow along for you and we're going to be focusing on kind of BJJ wrestling, maybe a little bit of MMA, more the, the wrestling, the grappling sort of style of martial arts as opposed to something like kickboxing, whereas the more dynamic sort of stretch required. This one has been requested massively, so I hope it is helpful for those of you who are after it. As always, you can get the full downloadable free offline version available in the description down below. But other than that, let's jump into this routine. Before we get started, you're probably just gonna need potentially a couple of yoga blocks or cushions to fully complete this routine. But for the most part, you're not really gonna need anything apart from yourself, maybe a mat and some space. We're gonna start some things off with just some joint rotations of the spine. Now you don't have to be seated like I am, you can be standing up, you can be sitting down on a chair, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna start with the four points. So we're gonna go forwards. We're gonna try and tuck the chin as far as we can. We're gonna breathe in, we're gonna go backwards. Lift, look up as high as you can. We're then gonna go to the left hand side. Always, by the way, trying to keep the shoulders down in this position. So we're gonna try and keep just the neck moving and the right hand side. And those are our four points. So we're gonna start with the first point and then we're gonna try and connect them together. We're gonna to start with the right hand side. So we're gonna to go to the right, we're gonna go back, then we get left and then down. So that's our circle connecting those points. When you're doing this, you wanna imagine like somebody is trying to pull your head off the top of the spine. So we're constantly trying to reach as far as we can. That will kind of help with the sensation of this plate movement. We're gonna do five nice slow rotations clockwise or to the right, and then we're gonna do five anti-clockwise or to the left. I may have messed that up, but five each way. Ideally, we're gonna try and breathe in as we go back into extension and breathe out as we tuck the chair. So. <laughs> And breathe out as you come down. So we're going to end up doing these kind of at our breathing pace. It's three. Last one. We're going to pause in that chin tuck position. Reverse the motion back the other way. Obviously the neck's gonna be put under quite a bit of demand with wrestling, BJJ, all that sort of stuff. Definitely worth doing some actual focus neck strengthening, uh, but just making sure you have adequate range of motion moving through your full range is useful as well. This is number five for me. I'll let you guys catch up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition that same movement now down towards the sternum. So again, seated, whatever standing, you're gonna think and try and find that forward position. We're gonna try and arch as much as possible, push your sternum forward. We're gonna find the back position where we're gonna try and hollow our chest as much as possible. We're gonna go to the left-hand side, we're going to the right-hand side. Then we're gonna try and connect those all together. So forward as far as you can, move. And just think about like your sternum is drawing the circle. Okay, so again, we're gonna do five to the right, five to the left, nice and easy. So nice and slowly, pushing that sternum as far as you can in that circle the entire time. Same thing, so if we're gonna breathe in as we go into extension, breathe out as we come back into that hollow body. We get back to the start. It's five. We're gonna go the other way. <laughs> Just at your own pace. One more here. Right, you can shake that off. We're actually just gonna come into quite a passive stretch to start off with. We're gonna work on something called the sleeper stretch, 
which is uh, quite a common one. You're going to probably want a pillow or a cushion for this one, just something to support your head. I'm going to come into like a lying fetal position. We're going to lie with our arm directly out to the side of us. Just going to bend it to 90 degrees. Have your cushion there to support your head. Make sure you're lying on top of your shoulder. And then we're just going to pull our arm into internal rotation. So this is going to stretch the posterior shoulder capsule. Just going to put it in. As we're not going to try and force our arm down. We're just going to rest our hand on top and we're just going to let the weight of our arm be the resistance for the stretch. This one is, again, you know, useful for arm bars, that sort of thing as well, but just generally for shoulder flexibility. And what we're going to do here is we're going to sit and we're going to rest for about a minute per side. Nice and simple, nothing too intense. We can play with a little bit of PNF if you want to, so you can try and press this hand up into the arm. So we're going to press it up into the arm, hold for sort of five seconds or so, try to resist it and then relax. And you should be able to go a little bit deeper into that stretch position, but you don't have to, so we can just sit here if we want to. Pressing up again. This is a this is a position just to chill. There's not much else to do. It's a it's a structural change. Just needs to sit in that stretch. Again, this one shouldn't be super intense. You shouldn't be sort of in discomfort during this stretch. It should just be like a nice general stretch on the back of the shoulder. Perfect. So yeah, just do some back and forth. Move on. What well, we've just been quite static in. You guys can just roll over, but I'm going to flip round so I'm still facing you. Uh, we're now going to do the right hand side. So again, make sure you're lying on top of that shoulder. Arm comes out in front, bend it, drop it into that stretch position, and then just rest the arm on top, and that's the intensity of your stretch. Again, we're just going to sit here for 60 seconds, and we're just going to relax. So again, you can play with some of that PNF if you want to. So that pressing the stretching arm into the resting arm. But this isn't essential. Whilst I've got you here, since we're not doing anything else, I'd just like to remind you, if you are enjoying these videos or if you did enjoy the fact that this is an MMA, uh, not necessarily MMA, but BJJ wrestling sort of focused one, let me know uh, in the comment section or just by leaving a like, it does help to support the channel and I'd highly appreciate it. And let me know if this video is, is a useful video and I can then look to make more of this sort of stuff. Again, looking to sink deeper over that 60 seconds. Perfect, again, shake that off, couple back and forth, and then we can come back onto, and this time you are gonna need to be in a kneeling position. So we're gonna do some thread the needle. So we're gonna kind of work again on that posterior shoulder sort of flexibility, but also some spinal rotation. So we're gonna start in a quadruped position, so on all fours. Take our right arm, actually no, we're gonna take our left arm, we're gonna reach as far as we can through, and we're just gonna walk this right arm forward. So we're gonna try and lower that shoulder down towards the ground. And we're just gonna try and in both directions with both arms, we're gonna try and reach as far away from us. So we're gonna try and reach as far towards our right hand side, but also forward at the same time. So we're gonna get this nice twist going. So just keep reaching, and we're just gonna hold this one for about 30 seconds. Should feel a nice sort of stretch uh, going into maybe the lower back, round into the, the back of the shoulder as well. Again, over this 30 seconds, just if you can, try to inch each of those arms just that little bit more out if you can do. And very simply, I'm just gonna come up, grab left arm forward, and reach that left arm through. Again, we're gonna reach both of our arms as far as we can in each direction. So we're gonna get that twist going. This is really just like a nice, simple double combo shoulder stretch. This also work in that thoracic rotation as well. And then, Come up to that center position again. 
We're actually gonna rotate round onto our back. Yeah, place those hands behind us, lift the chest nice and high. And then squeezing the glutes, we're gonna push the hips up into a tabletop. Pause for a couple of seconds and come back down. We're just gonna do five of these all the way up. Should feel like a nice stretch over the bicep, over the chest. Three. So last one here. I just want you to hold this top position. I'm just gonna try and move around a little bit. Just gonna try and push those knees forward over the toes. So we're gonna get more stretch. We're gonna try and shift our weight a little bit forward. Just gonna hold this for another five seconds. Perfect. So from here, we're gonna roll on backwards and we're gonna have hands helping. We're gonna bring ourselves into, you know, as much of a pike position as we can. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of bend in the legs, that's not necessarily the focus here. Have our arms nice and wide to the side. We're just gonna do some rotations. So we're gonna try and, you know, let our body, let our legs counterbalance our hips. We're just gonna try and touch foot to hand and foot to other hand. Again, if it feels easier, bending the knees more, also fine. So we're gonna do five per side. So let's try and rotate. Generally controlled here, but we don't need to be too. Eight. That's one more per side. And we can just come back into that lying position. I'm just gonna let the legs go into a butterfly and we can just rock from side to side here just for a few moments, just to switch down off. If you did struggle with that one, it's worth going over it again and really making sure your legs are able to get over your, over your shoulders. And that way you have more weight kind of going through the, the upper back, kind of like a roll position. And you'll find it much easier than to do those rotations, but they should give you a nice sort of spinal rotation into the lower back sort of stretch as well. All right, we're gonna sit up. And then from here, we're gonna come forward into an old favorite on this channel, which is a 90-90 stretch. So we're gonna have our right leg forward, going straight out, knee bent to 90 degrees, back leg at 90 degrees, coming out, going backwards. And then we're just gonna try and then roll the hips, so not round the back. We're gonna try and keep the chest up, roll the hips forward until we feel a stretch over the glute of this front leg. From here, a couple of PMF reps, so we're gonna try and press this knee down into the ground, so I'm actively pressing my knee using the glute for five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one, and breathe out. And then I'm gonna try and drop deeper into that stretch. We're gonna do two more of these. So again, we're gonna press that knee in. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax deeper. Let's do one more here. Press down. Five, four, three, two, one. And then from here, we're gonna allow that rounding in the back. I just want you to come as far forward as you can and just relax onto that front leg. I'm just gonna hold this for another 10 seconds. If you found this one difficult or you maybe a little bit tighter, um, you can always chuck one of these blocks or like a cushion underneath your hips. That's gonna raise your hips. It's gonna make this one a little bit more comfortable and accessible for you. Staying in this position, we're just gonna rotate round towards our left leg. So I'm gonna try and turn my sternum so it's facing over that left leg, but keeping the left knee down. Again, we're just gonna hold this for sort of about 20 seconds. Should be feeling a little bit of an internal rotation stretch on this left leg now. Again, if this one is a little bit uncomfortable, just try 
raising your hips slightly and it should feel a little bit better. But we're just gonna do that exact same stretch on the left hand side now. So if it was feeling challenging on the right hand side, make sure you make the right adjustments for this one. So now come into the middle, we're gonna try rotate round to the other side. So same 90-90 position, leg going directly out. Just gonna hinge forward over that front leg until you feel a stretch over the glutes. And again, we're gonna do that PNF. So we're gonna try and press that knee into the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out and sink deeper. Two more of these. So press that knee down. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do one last one here. So five, four, three, two, one. Sink down, we're gonna let that spine round. I'm just gonna relax into the deepest position we can here. I'm using my left arm now in this position just to help myself like push myself so I'm keeping my sternum over this front leg. And back up to the middle. Same again, we're just gonna twist. So our sternum is facing over that back leg. And then we're just gonna hold this position, twisting into that leg. Again, just for about 20 seconds. It's a nice and chilled one here. And then we're gonna start getting into some, some more fun stuff. So we're gonna start now with a tailor pose, which is important for opening up the hips in this sort of butterfly position. Now you can do this one just sat comfortably in front of you, but I think this one personally I find works a lot better if we can support our back with, uh, with an object, so in this case a wall or a sofa or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna squeeze my bum up and up nice and close to this. I'm gonna pull my legs in, you know, just as far as feels comfortable. So if you pull your legs too far in, you're gonna find your knees are gonna be up here. That's not necessarily beneficial. So just pull them in as far as is comfortable. And then we're gonna place some pressure using the hands onto the knees. In this position, sit nice and upright. If you can do, try to feel like you're gonna roll those hips forward. So we're gonna sit on our sitting bones. We're not trying to round the leather back. Sit nice and upright. We're then gonna try and squeeze our legs up into our hands, but our hands are gonna be there to resist it. So we're gonna squeeze up Gonna hold this for five seconds as hard as we can. Try to lift our hands up. Five, four, three, two, one. And then breathe out. Use the hands to try and push them further down. And as we're going further down, we can try and squeeze our glutes as hard as we can. So we're gonna try and actively pull the knees down towards the ground. And two, two more of those. So again, squeeze the knees up. So five. Four, three, two, one. And then push further down. Squeeze the glutes to try and pull those knees down as well. And we're gonna do one last one. So I'm gonna lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze those glutes, try to relax. You should have seen a little bit of change, a little bit of improvement with how far you can get those knees down towards the ground. We're just gonna hold this last position now for about 10 seconds. Just trying to sit in that stretch position. Right, so we can shake this one off. We're gonna come into a horse stance position. So we're gonna start with our feet together. We're gonna turn heels out once, toes out again, heels out, so that's three, toes out, four, and heels out, so that's five. So we should have the feet now kind of facing broadly forward and we're gonna be in a kind of 
oh, a, a semi sort of straddle position. We're going to try and sink down into the best squat we can. So we're going to try and get the hips nice and low. And then from here, we're just going to transition from this position, which is a horse squat. And we're going to try and push the hips and legs straight. We're going to hinge forward into a standing pancake. Hold for a couple of seconds. And we're going to sit back up into our horse squat. Okay. So we're going to do 10 of those. Nice, slow and controlled. And what I want you to think about is as you're extending into this horse squat, you're gonna try and think about keeping this contraction of keeping the thigh close with the stomach. So nice and simple, 10 of these. Push the legs, hips back, reach down with the elbows or the hands towards the ground. Transition back. So it's probably a little bit more of a challenging one. Just do it at your own pace. Again, remembering to try and reach down when you're in that pancake position. So I've got two more here for myself. And on this last one, we're just gonna hold that pancake position. We're gonna walk our hands over towards the left-hand side. We're gonna try and pull ourselves as much as we can towards this left-hand side, trying to get our sternum over towards this left knee. Just gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Just letting that gravity do its thing, pulling us deeper into the stretch, but also using that foot to try and pull us over further. If you can't reach the foot, you can always grab the shin, the ankle, whatever is a good point of contact. Walk the hands over to the right hand side. Again, grab the foot, pull that sternum towards the knee. I'm just going to hold this position for 20 seconds. We're almost coming to the end now, just like a few more stretches just to finish up. Perfect. Now I'm going to come down into what would be uh, an upward dog. So just can move from side to side. Just find where it's comfortable. Just let the hips sort of sink. Let yourself extend through the back. I'm just going to hold this one for about 20 seconds. Just kind of chilling. Should feel like generally a little bit of a stretch over hip flexors and abs, that sort of thing. We're gonna start off by bringing our right leg forward into a lunge position. So right leg's gonna come forward into a lunge. We're gonna come inside with the hands. And then from here, we're just gonna try and lift our leg up. So we're gonna use the glutes and lower down. So it's gonna be like this active position. We're gonna hold for a few seconds here. Really trying to squeeze the glute on this back leg, trying to make our body one nice straight line forward and then relax. We're going to do five of these. So hold for a few seconds. And relax. This is number three. So hold for a few seconds. And relax. And last one. So hold for a few seconds. Lovely. And then we're just going to swap sides. So we're going to bring our left leg forward. Same thing again. Hands down by the feet onto the toes of the back foot. Try and squeeze that glute straight in that back leg. Just going to hold for a few seconds. And come back down. So five of these. 
Again, really think about squeezing the glute on that back leg. number four and finally number five perfect when they come into a kneeling position you're going to come onto the uh, the toes of your feet and then what we're going to do is we're going to do something called a camel pose if you can do so we're going to try and come forward onto the knees we're just going to place our hands on the ankles of the back foot and then we're going to try and lean back into it. Similar to the tabletop pose, we're going to try and extend through the spines, open up the chest, push through the hands, squeeze the glutes. We should be feeling kind of a global stretch over the front of the body. Just going to hold this one. If this is a little bit challenging for you, what you can do is you can come into a kneeling position and same thing. So we're just going to try to lift the glutes up, lift it really nice and high as we can, but our hands are going to be on the floor behind us. So 30 seconds, just nice static hold. are going to come down onto that kneeling position we're going to come and we're going to try and basically walk ourselves back i'm going to go into as much of a hero pose as you can do so if you can get down to elbows that's great if you can get shoulders on the floor also great we need to find a sort of semi-comfortable position so i'm going to go elbows that's going to sit back here so we're going to sit we're just going to hold this position for about 20 seconds again if this one isn't comfortable for you, still holding it up here, nice and supported, and that is absolutely fine. Should we just be feeling kind of a stretch going over quads and probably over the tops of your feet as well. So just sit and try to chill out a little bit. Let the hips sink between the feet. Do another 20 seconds here. ourselves up and we're just going to shuffle back and drop into a nice relaxing child's pose and that's going to be basically us for the routine we can sit here just for like another 30 seconds if you want just to we've just done quite a bit of like extension work of the spine so we can do a little bit of some flexion work just to kind of balance things out but that's basically the routine so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As I said, this one's been quite requested. This will be in generally uh, the request of like mixed martial arts, judo, BJJ, that sort of thing. And it's kind of hard to pinpoint down one routine for all of that because the requirements of sports such as boxing, kickboxing uh, or, or striking sports is very different to, to wrestling and grappling. But hopefully, as I said, this one would be useful for those focused more on that side of things. If you did enjoy this video, you can also hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe and don't miss out on any more future videos. But that's basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.